Hi, my name is Carly Miller. I'm going to be talking about um, chest tube uh, management. So um, with chest tube management, the RN overall has the responsibility of monitoring uh, the chest tube and assessing the CDU. So uh, like the LVN can assist in caring for a pac patient with a chest tube, but they would have to go to the RN with any compl complications or abnormal findings. Um, the RN is responsible for the initial um, dressing change of the chest tube insertion site, uh, pain management, respiratory status, chest tube uh, dressing, connections, kinks and tubing, drainage, and CDU are all to be assessed at the beginning of every shift and then every four hours, um, possibly more frequently, kind of depending on the patient status, but at minimum every four hours. Um, an obstructed chest tube is very serious and can result in a, pneumo in a tension pneumothorax. Um, assessment of the chest tube has to be documented in the nursing flow sheet. Um, so things that we would document, uh, number one would be the um, amount of chest tube drainage which would go on the input and output sheet um, at the end of each sheet in the end of each shift. Um, it's the RN's responsibility to change the CDU. Um, chest tubes can be clamped, but very, very briefly, less than one minute, only to check for an air leak or to change the CDU. Um, they do not need to be clamped more than a minute. It needs to be quick and done. Uh, clamping of the chest tubes um, for indications other than like checking for an air leak or uh, changing the CDU is only if the physician absolutely orders it for whatever reason. But uh, if the physician doesn't order it, then those are the only two reasons. Um, you should never milk the pleural chest tube. There's another word for it. Um, you should never milk or strip the pleural chest tube. Um, the CDU has to be remain upright and below the level of the tube insertion at all times. Um, chest tube drains are not to be pinned to clothing or linen to keep them stabilized. Uh, you should always check the patient's vital signs, especially including their um, O2 saturation. Assess their breath sounds, their respiratory status, um, pain. Uh, dressing has to be changed every three days, possibly more than that, like as needed, just depending on um, how the pet the um, quality of the dressing. Um, what else about chest tubes? I'm trying to think. Only do wall suction if ordered, but they do do wall suction only if ordered. Um, The Heimlich valve is to get rid of air, air only. Intrathoracic pressure is negative or less than atmospheric pressure. Um, drainage of air or fluid from the pleural or mediastinal space requires a seal or a valve that lets it drain but stops air from entering into the chest cavity. I think that's pretty much it. Overall, the RN is in charge of the management and the quality of the chest tube and the dressing. Like I said, LPNs can help and they can be a part of assessment and stuff. They can help with caring for a chest tube, but any abnormalities will go straight to the RN. Mm, trying to think. Always check your connections and tubings. Um, you want to see the fluctuation with, with the respirations. Um, document the amount of drainage, the color of drainage. Check for leaks, like I spoke about with the CDU um, earlier. I think that's about it. The RN is the one who is more held liable for um, chest tube quality, even if, say, an LPN is um, in charge of that patient or if that's technically their patient on the floor. Um, 
an RN should be notified of anything that is out of the ordinary with a chest tube. Um, they need to be able to see it and assess it and um, give a recommendation on what needs to be done or possibly let the um, physician know.